hello and welcome back to Planned on Planning. Here we are in my personal planner and we're gonna get into some things and we're gonna get a little personal and it's gonna be fun and wonderful. So these are the sticker books that I want to use this week. As you can see, everything has been nicely tabbed and pinned or paper clipped or however you want to put it. I mean, it does seem like a lot, but it may be just like one or two things off the page. Um, if you saw how many sticker books I actually had, you'd be like, girl, you need to stuff your stickers up. And I'd be like, I know. <laughs> Don't judge me. So first, we are going to lay the foundation, so to speak, with the sticker sticker collection. And these are the ones, as you can see, that come in like little color stories. So it's, I use this as like my base. So I pick, you know, which one I want to go off of, which I chose this one this time around. And then I build everything off of this. So this gives me a nice color base to go with. And then I can go through the other books and build on it. So this is what we're going to start with. Ha, 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 ha. And the easiest thing I find to do is just do. So I don't, um, like I just go for it, to be honest. I've done all the hard work, so to speak. So now it's just time to put everything down. So like I said, this is what we're starting with. And even though I have it, I'm just like, hmm, what exactly do I want to do? Because sometimes I find, like as you guys know, that I'll put a sticker down and then think of another way to use it and then wind up having to take the sticker up. So I'm just taking a brief look at everything that I have, everything that we have going on, and I'm kind of trying to figure out once again where I want to put things. Because when I'm picking out the stickers that I want to use for the week, I have a rough idea, so to speak, of where I want to put things, where I want to use them, things of that nature. And now what we are doing again is basically re-figuring that out. So what I'm doing now is I'm playing with the spacing. There we go. Now granted it is bigger than the boxes, but I just didn't want to go too far into my lined area. Now, I hear you talking. You don't even really use that lined area. Very true. <laughs> Very true. I really don't. But I still want to give it a little respect. Put some respect on it. Alright, so I'm seeing that this one is not as big as the area. But I think I want to just put it at the top. And I have one more to use. And I'm going to put this over on this end. Just add a little color. A little color to the mix. So other things that I have going on are going to be putting out my list. So, you know, you have to do like your to-do list and all that fun stuff. So that's what I'm going to do now. But what I've learned for the most part is that you have to, um, what's it called? You have to title or categorize your list. So you want to do like priority, know to self, things to remember, things to do, to do, all that stuff. So what I find is better is putting down these, the actual one, two, three, four, fives, and then putting your category on top of it. That's what I like to do. Now 
Like I said, we're not getting too crazy with anything. Fabulous. And then my Saturday and Sunday goes. Like the actual things that I do on Saturdays and Sundays. Granted, it's not a lot, and I try to keep it that way, but it always turns out to be a ton. Let's just be honest. But I am getting better at that um, to remember to mix fun with the work. So we got this little remember reminder going on. Actually, let's move reminder. Reminders are more like Wednesday, Thursdays, to be honest. Mondays is where I want to deal with my priority things. So this is actually kind of large, so I'm just going to snip, snip. Just to make sure I, you know, get within the area. Bam. Simmy. All right. So we'll deal with some more priority things on Sunday. This will be our Saturday. See, I told you, reminders are really, like, Wednesday, Thursday things. And Friday, even though I try my hardest to relax, I always got to get something done. It's not fair, but, hey, we're adults, right? Whoop, whoop. Like, I wish, seriously, somebody would have told me. Being an adult kind of sucks. <laughs> so I have my groceries. I have my laundry that I have to get done on Saturday. It's a whole lot of no fun. But I manage. See, because what I like to do to kick up the good times on the weekend is a little self-pampering. And I think this Sunday we're going to do brunch. And then a Manny Petty. I mean, next. Sorry, next. The week is over, bro. So I think that's what we're going for. I had a ridiculously tough work week um, last week. So this upcoming week, I'm doing a work do over. Like, I gotta get a second chance. Yeah, we're doing a work do over. Sorry, buddy, but. It was a freaking nightmare last week. Not only work, I don't actually think my job sucks because I actually love my job. New job, started it. I've been working there a little while. I can't say that it's like packed and you know full of things to do and all that awesome stuff. But it was quite a challenging week just all around. Like I had so much craziness and foolishness going on. I just need a do-over. So, now that we've got our basic foundation going on, let's get some real flair, like some quotes in throughout. So, to add some real flair or some, you know, pizzazz, I'm going to use my quote stickers. And uh, most of the actual, like, quotes that we're looking for are going to be towards the back, but I just want to give you a little flip through. So, what I'm looking for is going to be in this area. And I'm still working on the same colors. You know, we're going to keep our color scheme going. So something like this really embodies everything that we have. It's a start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. And I think that is some great inspo, to be honest. Now, is it going to fit? 
So if I put it in this area, not bad at all. So yes, it does mix in and get in, but it's all right. It's okay. All right, and then let's get, I think I passed what I'm looking for. Actually, no, here it is. So this is attract what you expect, reflect what you desire, become what you respect, mirror what you admire. There we go. So just some great little inspo throughout. Remember, we're keeping to our color scheme. Which brings me up to Thursday. Actually, we're gonna have to go down to Thursday. This one's a little larger. And this one works. Here we go. I actually, I'm just looking for something to go across the bottom. Like this Hey Beautiful. That. Now if I could find, oh, do I have them though? I'm just looking for like some little doodles to go across the bottom. And I think I have to go back to my planner basics for that. There was a sheet with, yeah, this is what I'm looking for, with all these little hearts. Now granted, we know that these little stickers drive me crazy because they are so small, but sometimes they're worth it. Sometimes they are totally worth it. So, you know, I just want to just create something that's really cute. Something that looks like really on the effortless side. You know what I should have did? I should have used some stamps. Because I have this super cute heart pen with stamps. Oh, darn it. All right, so this is what we have for our foundation for the upcoming week, 18 to 24. And we're just going to rock out and really make it work. I know that sounds like oh, a little on the, does she really know what she's doing side? But I promise you, I do. And... I'm going to make it fabulous. And I think after all my hard work on Saturday, I should receive some sushi. Bam. Yeah, I think I should. All right. So I do thank you for joining me today. I had so much fun with you. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave a comment below. If there's anything you want to talk about um, that you don't necessarily want it to be 
public knowledge to everyone, go ahead and email me, plansonplanning at gmail.com. I'd love to chat with you that way. Do not forget to follow me on social media. Hit the follow button, then go a little further up. Hit the send message and slide into my DMs and let's get to chit-chatting that way. You can ask any questions that you want. If you want to know where I got something from, if you just want to talk about some planner goodies or, you know, I don't know, pens. I like pens, too. Let's talk about pens. Let's talk about washi. All that wonderful stuff. But in the meantime, in between time, a later days. Mm-hmm.